Well, I've got some pretty good news today. I, uh, in my research of radio, I came across a um, integrated circuit chip called an MK484 that is a 10 transistor basic AM radio in one little piece right there. And if you look that up, if you Google it, there's a bunch of circuits, very simple circuits, that you can put with that chip and make a very simple but effective AM radio that works on a AA battery. And uh, it's pretty cool. I've done mine a little bit different than uh, some of the other ones, but uh, pretty neat. And it draws uh, anywhere from about 2 milliamps at the uh, opening thing uh, with a volt on up to about 15 milliamps. It's not bad. And uh, you can uh, make it run without any external antenna, just a loop stick antenna or one of these things that I made, which is a ferrite core inside a uh, coil of wire. Uh, that's uh, two and a half inches long or so, about uh, five eighths in diameter. It's 26 gauge wire. I don't know what the millihenry <laughs> is on it. Uh, my LC meter busted. And then inside, I'm using a piece of ferrite. And uh, this is a choke from Radio Shack, and I took the wire off the choke and uh, just made this tuning uh, ferrite rod. You can't use a bolt or iron or anything else. It's got to be ferrite for this to work. It's a, it's a tunable inductor. And that, in conjunction with a 0 to 500 picofarad cap, makes a really good tank circuit that helps out this uh, little IC chip. And then over here is my home-built amplifier. And it's also using a chip. It's the LM386 chip. And here again, Google these things, and you can find out the circuits uh, for them. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show the circuits that I'm using. Uh, come up with your own. But uh, this one has to run on three volts. And I've got a little button cell to show that off today. Uh, without the amplifier, uh, this you have to use one of these uh, earphones with. But it's very effective. If you add an antenna to this, uh, it, it gets a lot more stations and is more receptive. But uh, at this point here, you could box this up and make yourself a nifty little radio just using a, a AA battery or a AAA battery. And it'll even run on a home-built battery. This is a magnesium and copper home-built uh, water battery. And uh, this puts out enough juice to run this radio. Uh, pretty darn neat. So let me turn this on. You can listen to it now. It's mostly Spanish stations because they come from Mexico. See what I can get here. I've been trying to find music stations, but they're in Spanish. <laughs> so, anyway. And, of course, if there's a commercial on, you can't hear the music then either, but... Uh, these are coming from Tijuana. It's about uh, 80 miles away or so. Anyway, that's my little uh, radio there that uh, now is a standalone radio that was pretty darn fun to build. And uh, it started out as a study uh, to try to understand Dr. Stifler's work, and it just ended up as just a, a side project that I had a lot of fun with. But uh, this was the big thing. When I was studying uh, electricity as a kid, we never had stuff like this. We didn't have tin transistor integrated circuits and a little tiny thing like that. Uh, they weren't around yet. You know, that's how old I am. <laughs> I started out with vacuum tubes. And same thing with the amplifier. The first amplifier I built was a one-tube uh, amplifier. You know, now they got the whole thing on a chip. So, anyway, I hope uh, somebody else has some fun with this idea. Of just, uh, even if you're old, you know, pick up, uh, pick up some sites on the Internet and uh, have some fun. Thanks for watching.